Okay guys, it's Fishing ND here, and before we start the video, I want to give a huge shout out to Catch and Cola Baits. They've given us a good year, and they have supported us. They support our videos, so go support them. Check out their website. They make good stuff, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, it is Fishing ND here, and today we are going to talk about how to get braid off of one reel and onto another so you can reuse that braid. And first, you're gonna need some monofilament. And I'll show you why in a sec. If you don't already know why. Monofilament, you're gonna need a reel with Plenty of space, and this one might not have enough. You're gonna need a reel, plenty of space. And this is just a crappier reel, just for the video. Plus, it had spider wire on it before. Hate spider wire, this is like brand new, already faded, and was just not acting right. It acted more like mono than, than braid. Okay, so you're going to want just a small piece of monofilament, probably not even this big. This is a little bit overkill. doesn't matter what monofilament you use, and because it's just pretty much being used as backing. Um, get this through. Here, bam. Now, when you tie this, some people will give you real specific knots to use. I just triple granny knot it. It works good enough. Sometimes I only double. Right now I'm using a really, really thick line. So I'll probably just only double. Um, no, I'll go triple. Wasn't paying attention, I went triple anyway, so we're going triple. Okay, we got that. Now we got our other reel. This is the reel I want to take the line of, off of and put it on to this reel. No, pretty much this is just Power Pro Super Slick, I think. It's it's pretty pretty good. It casts really good. I'm putting it on here because I don't don't have another don't have another reel to put it on and I don't want to waste it and I'm re spooling up that one, which will probably be in another video. So what you're going to want to use, the knot I always use, is I think a clinch knot, but I'm not sure, it could be a uni. Pretty much it looks a lot like a granny, but it holds line really, really, really well. But honestly, again, it doesn't really matter because you're never really going to get spooled out this bad. And if you are, and you're still getting spooled out to that point, you're probably going to lose that fish anyway. So might as well break off at this connection, which is going to be your weakest point anyway. The connection through knots is your weakest point. Okay. You tighten this up. Can you see that is? I might come out with a knot video for you guys in a little bit. Wet that knot down. And 
Cut your tag ends. Make sure everything is completely tightened down. Now, the hard part about braid and attaching it to any line is braid has absolutely no give to it. Gray, braid has no give at all. And that's why it's such a good fishing line for finicky fish. But that's also why um, it like if you're trying to attach fluorocarbon to braid, which is a really good technique and a lot of guys use it, but you've got to do it right for it to be right. Now your first couple of reels to get that fluoro or a fluoro mono around there, you're going to want to do slow. And then the rest of the way, you're going to want to put even pressure on it and just reel it up. And I'll probably fast forward through this. Reason, it's all probably going to end up. It was like for some reason that feels it was really choppy, but I don't know why now. Right there. Now the good thing about having Suffix 832 is it's coated in mono, which means it's ready to go on any spool. This is not suffix 832, but as you can see, I put it on that spool, just open, and it worked out just fine. So, I mean, I've had it on there for two years, and I haven't broke anything on it. I am going to lay some mono down before I go into it next time for safety reasons I guess just to make sure that I don't have that problem because I had it when I laid down the spider wire because all my lines have just been real nice right away and I've never had to worry about the braid slipping but the spider wire is coarse enough to where it slips so um Yep. So when you do that, by flipping it like this, you're giving it the new line on top. See how that's not at all sun faded? This line's been on this reel for two years and it's not sun faded at all. And that's because the backing, this stuff, the stuff you've always got in the back of your reel, Unless it's mono, because mono will fray up everywhere once it starts to fray up, but braid doesn't do that. When you change mono, you change it all at once. And when you change braid, you change, you can flip it. I know people that prefer not to. I prefer to because it's a money saving technique and I don't have all the money in the world to go out and buy $21 spools of suffix 832 every time I go out so braid I mean I've got braid on rods that's like years old I think I got it on my black max and it's like four or five nah it's more like three three years old just about if if not four I mean I've had that reel forever and I want to do a review on it because you know, it's a really good, really good reel for the pricing, and you can't really beat it. So now, as if you were putting on any line ever, you just spool it, get it out through the eyes, and... You're done. So, like I said, 
it doesn't matter what notch you use um i prefer a certain knot that i was taught when i was changing out fly fishing leaders but it really doesn't matter what knot you use because now that is under say a hundred and 120 yards of braid and it's never going to slip because now it's got that mono underneath of it so just short little tech tip there when you're doing when you're changing braid if you've got a reel that you need line on because for whatever reason you need line on it um and you've got braid on another reel that hasn't already been switched. Just switch it and the braid's like brand new. And just as strong as the day it came out of the package. So, I guess that was just a little tech tip for you guys. Um, until, until next time, this has been Fishing ND and I will see you next time.